Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanika and this is the perfect time to do some closet reorganization. So as you all know or may not know, we live in a small 950 square foot apartment in Manhattan and there's always one thing you have to compromise and that is closet space. Living in New York City, it is always a challenge to have lots of closet space. Although we do have five closets, they're divided between me and my husband and I would like to go through my tiny walk-in closet, <laughs> laughable, and fix it because it gets a little disheveled every now and then and I think it's now a perfect time with the summer and fall approaching to get it cleaned up. So I do this every year. There's no such thing as a perfect organized closet. Day-to-day -day living causes everything to just get shampooed. So let me take you through what I'm going to do in the process of closet cleaning. So before we get started, I'm going to show you how I have everything organized or simply unorganized at the moment. So here I have my fancy pajamas that I hang with a door knock, a door a holder from the container store. It works. It's not the neatest looking thing, but this is the way the closet, this is the before. So I just want to show you where I keep my hats. And unfortunately, it is not in the best shape now. Unfortunately, I have my pants here. Then I have some shoe containers here, shirts here. This shouldn't be here, of course. And I keep sweaters here, blouses, some shoes on this side, and other blouses and dresses. And up here are my shoe containers. So what I need to do is reassess everything and take it out and get started on reorganizing it for the hundredth time. I love to wear head wraps, so I keep my head wraps in two baskets, but I have to neatly roll them again because of as you can see, they look out, out of place. So I'm going to put these here on the floor. I cleared off the two racks that had clothes on them. And I'm just going to refold them and place them back in the closet. It's all about just making sure everything is streamlined and put together neatly. So these need to be re-rolled. As you can see, they're just not color coordinated and uh, a bit messy looking. And up here, I'm just probably just going to take the hangers and just make sure everything is... I have so many clothes and that's one of the problems here, but we're going to fix this. Guys, welcome to the clothing party. So here are all my items here on the bed and I'm going to perfect fold everything and place it back. Yes, it is exhausting and yes, it's a nightmare. But let me show you what you can do in a tiny closet. So this is a very small walk-in closet and as you can see I neatly have my necklaces hanging on this side on hooks. All the pants are neatly rolled so I can see them and it also allows it to fit more. Up here is where I keep some of my shades and this hook has a couple of fans and miscellaneous things I use day to day. Here are my shoes on a rack. This can be a bit challenging and head wrap a bucket. So up here, you'll see my bags hanging on a hook, and I also figured out where to put some of my turban hats, which are here. The clothing racks, all of my shirts are here. All of my flat shoes are on this side, and a few other shoes and swimsuits are in these buckets. And this is my head wrap bucket. So here are all of my shoe containers from the container store. I will link it from my blog if you want to shop them. They're really convenient and they keep my shoes neat and I like to be able to see my shoes when I walk in my closet. It's small but mighty. So I'm on the top of the ladder that I use and you can see how long the closet is and how narrow it is. But 
as I said again, it's small and mighty and I get a lot in this closet and I'm very happy at the way I was able to utilize each nook and cranny. So this is where I put my turbans. I hang some belts on this side. I was able to hang my hats here and more bags. I also keep some bags at the bottom in the bins and also more shoes are in the bins. The bag station on the right and hats. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed my tiny, tiny New York City closet. Another thing you can use are little baskets like this to store miscellaneous items. So I have this basket just to store quick go-to items. And here I am inside of my tiny closet with a little light. So this is my second tiny closet inside of the uh, closet room near our dining room. The French doors, behind the French doors. Here's a closet that is always in shambles and I am the, one of the neatest, most organized people I know and I can't keep this closet in shape. So I'm going to show you the inside of it and I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't really have a plan but what I'm going to try and do is make sure everything is neatly stacked or maybe I should just not buy anything anymore. That would be a good plan. Okay, let me show you the inside of this mess. <laughs> Here's the inside of this closet where I keep a couple of hats. And then up here I have some vases and books and miscellaneous things. Here I have a couple of belts and headbands in a bag. And I just have, I keep most of my blazers and jackets. I have a coat closet too, but this is just where I keep other things and rubber boots. And yeah, so let me just take everything out, reposition it, and uh, also... I'm not going to show you my husband's side because it's a bit disheveled, but this is the jewelry station, my jewelry cabinet, where I keep all of my collected pieces, and I keep all of my shades in here, and here are more clothes, so I think what I'll do today is start with just folding these drawers, refolding them, and I'm not sure if I'll get much done in this closet today. But I wanted to share this closet that needs work too. So maybe if I don't do it today, I'll do another video another time. But I just wanted to show you the second closet. Thank you again for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed my tiny closet reorganization. More to come so stay tuned for part two. Love, Tanika.